Well, congratulations tonight to Sue Strawn from Herefordshire, who's become the first woman with dementia to finish the London Marathon. Sue's putting her feet up in the studio with us right now. She took up running after finding out she had dementia, and she's become an inspirational sight, pounding the roads around her home in staunton on wye She joined tens of thousands of runners to raise money for Alzheimer's Research UK and proved a real star of the BBC's big race coverage. Why shouldn't someone with dementia run a marathon? Uh, there are 300 of us running for Alzheimer's research and I'm the only one with dementia. I hope that's going to change. I hope more people with dementia or even people who are just recently diagnosed will take up running. It's, I started with Couch to 5K and look, here I am. Well, I'm delighted to say that Sue is with us right now. Uh, congratulations, first of all. Thank you. How's the old bod feeling? Uh, apart from my very, very blistered feet, I feel good, actually. Mm. No aches, no pains, but huge blisters because of the heat. Yeah, what was the heat like? Oh, it was brutal, honestly. It, it made it really difficult on, yeah. on all sorts of levels. They ran out of water at a couple of the stations. Um, people were pouring water over themselves instead of drinking it, which wasted it. Um, and if it had continued with the heat, I'm not sure I would have finished. Were there some really tough moments? 10K, I thought I was going to stop. I felt dizzy, I felt faint. And then two girls from the Alzheimer's research team saw my name bad on my back and said, oh, it's Strawny, can we have our picture taken with you? And I was thinking, I'm just about to give up. <laughs> and I said, well, yes, okay, thank you. And they said, shall we walk together for a while? Yeah. And that did it, that just got me back into the race again and I walked a little bit, I ran a little bit and I actually finished in a, in a very reasonable seven hours. Oh absolutely. Um, I, I'd hoped to do it between six and six and a half mm. but seven is perfectly acceptable. Yeah. Well, what was that moment like when you saw the finish? I, as you come round the corner from Buckingham Palace and you're by the statue of Queen Victoria, the people in the crowd were shouting my name. Were they? What uh, a yes. moment. And eh? I turned to one woman and I said, oh, it's there. <laughs> she said, yes. So I, I ran the last bit, definitely. Oh, it must have been a cracking moment. <clears throat> uh, how much have you raised then so far? Um, as of this afternoon, £12,600. What do you think of that? It's, it's mind-blowing. It, it's very humbling that my little story has, has uh, touched a nerve it's with so many people. It's not a little story, well, it's a massive story. Oh, well, thank you. Um, but it's touched, touched a lot of people mm. and I hope that it can do more to raise awareness about dementia. And has and, it helped you? Oh, absolutely. It's good for the old serotonin levels, definitely. Mm. Um, aside from the actual running, which is still good for me, but I don't like it. <laughs> uh, so it's lovely to see you. Congratulations. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for coming in Thank again. Thank you. Thank you.